Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kaizen Seho and if you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey. Okay guys, so we are going to jump straight into today's video. We are going to be talking about all of the natural hair habits that I have kept since I relaxed my hair. So just a quick update to the people who've missed it. Firstly, where have you been? Secondly, I relaxed my hair on the 8th of January and this is coming off the back of a 12 year natural hair journey and within this 12 year period, in the last two years, I big chopped and so January was essentially like the two year mark since I big chopped. It was a little bit longer, maybe like a month longer or not even a month like a week longer than two years and that's when I decided to relax my hair. So that's just the context if you're wondering about my hair length and my prior hair journey, this is where we are right now. If you guys missed the other videos about me relaxing my hair, the reasons, blah blah, all of that stuff, I will link all of those videos but you can also catch them in my relaxed hair playlist. So. If you haven't seen them, catch up. <laughs> but welcome to today's video. Let's get into it, guys. It goes without saying that obviously I'm going to keep gravitating to what I know best out of habit. I think for the past three months since I have been relaxed, it's actually just over three months, these habits have served me well and they've also helped me to retain length as you can see i finally reached bra strap length so very excited and happy about that so the first one that i want to talk about is low manipulation when i was a natural guys i would always tell you to not manipulate your hair don't comb it unless you have to protective style all of the time and i've had a lot of like i wouldn't say backlash but a lot of people would say that i'm not enjoying my hair because i don't play around with it. For me, the most important thing is health and length retention. And in order to get those two things, low manipulation is the best thing. Sure, if you do want to explore and you want to dye your hair and you want to curl it and crimp it and do all of the things under the sun, do that. But it definitely does compromise how quickly your hair will grow as well as how much of that length you are retaining because you will constantly be manipulating your hair either through heat, either through combs, pulling, tugging, even braids um, are manipulation. And the reason why, <laughs> and I think that the other thing I want to address off the back of this first point is that a lot of people have been saying, we want to know what you do with your hair every day. The answer is I can't give you that because I don't do anything to my hair every day. Even in its relaxed form, I literally put it up in a bun, like right over here, a very loose bun, and I go about my day. And most often my hair is in a bonnet. So low manipulation is the one thing that I've kept that I think has helped and contributed to hair health as well as length retention. So the second point is essentially that as my hair continue to grow, obviously I will get new growth that will look like natural hair. It's important to treat your hair like you're transitioning. So context, I have a lot of experience in transitioning because in that 12 year journey, I had a lot of bumps in the road and I have created videos on that. And if you wanna understand what I've been through in the 12 year natural hair journey, I haven't completely been 100% natural. I have a lot of experience in transitioning hair, like relaxing hair by mistake, all of that stuff, I have the context. So when the new growth started coming out, I knew exactly what to do with it, how to treat it. And remember guys, where your growth ends and where your relaxed hair starts, that is the weakest point of your hair. You have to make sure that you are protecting that hair and you aren't combing your hair with a fine tooth comb, right? You have to now switch to a wider tooth comb and just be a bit more careful with your hair. Give it a little bit more care at that breakage point. I don't know what they actually technically call it. There is a technical term for where the natural hair ends and the relaxed hair starts but um, I'll call it the breakage point, just, just for the purpose of this video. At that breakage point, you need to be super, super careful. And uh, yeah, just make sure that you are treating that like natural hair and you're treating the rest like relaxed hair. When I started to get new growth, the thing that really helped me is going back to my natural hair products. So I would deep condition with my natural hair deep conditioners because I found that that is what 
gave me the adequate amount of moisture that I required. And also remember guys, it's very important to take care of that new growth because that new growth and the health of that new growth determines how your ends are going to look when your hair grows out so at every point of your hair make sure that you're taking care of it because this part which is the oldest part is the easiest e okay how do we say this in english it's more easily susceptible to breakage and damage so if you take care of it well here it will take care of you well here and you won't have split ends and issues like that cool cool okay let's move on to the next point detangle like you are still natural and i don't even mean the new growth i mean the whole hair shaft when you're in the shower and now you've got to use your 15 minutes wash days in the shower mine are still not 15 minutes maybe like 20 or 30 because i do deep condition in the shower but yeah easy does it detangle with the detangling brush i actually use an afro comb i find that that pulls out even less of my hair especially when i start getting that new growth um i'm just super super gentle with my hair detangle from the ends to the roots keep that same routine and keep those rules in your detangling process and you'll be all good the next one i touched on it in my first point where i was referring to low manipulation is wearing a bonnet guys i always wear a bonnet the only time when i'm not wearing a bonnet is when my camera's on for work and when i'm out of the house but trust and believe when i am in the house 90 percent of the time my bonnet is on my head and i believe that that is what helps my hair be protected and be kept safe from the elements so i'm just super pedantic about wearing a bonnet all the time the fifth point which i think is a very important point is the importance of maintaining a healthy relationship with heat now that our hair is in a different kind of state it obviously does need heat in order to look slick and put together and to have that movement that you're looking for so you, you you're naturally going to gravitate towards heat there are some relaxed people who do still air dry their hair i am not that relaxed hair person and i, I don't think i will be i don't like how my hair looks when um it's air dried so i'm going to continue blow drying but it's important to have that healthy relationship i don't always um, apply heat to my hair and whenever i do i have products that help to combat the damage that heat could potentially cause another thing that i do is i style my hair with heat according to social calendar so if for example i've washed my hair for the week right and i try to maintain a weekly washing routine but also my hair kind of forces me to wash my hair every week if i'm going out i'm gonna go or i'm gonna go to work i make sure that i curl my hair once that week with a obviously a straightener or with a curling iron or whatever you want but other times i try to kind of recreate the the curls with heatless options such as flexi rods and i do have a flexi rod set video where i show you guys how i use flexi rods for my hair the curls from my flexi rod set technique are super defined and i do not use any product for those curls and those curls last for more than a day but also you'll notice if you are heat styling your hair the curl does stay for longer than a day right and i usually don't put any product in my hair the only time i put product in my hair is when i'm washing it i will maybe like use a very light oil or like a serum and that's literally it i don't believe in moisturizing my hair it weighs the hair down and the hair doesn't move i want to be able to you get me <laughs> when i have my relaxed hair out so the stiffness that comes with moisturizer it's not for me other people do moisturize their hair i do not um, and my hair is fine as you can see still healthy still fine it's we're all good here so um yeah that's essentially the one thing that i can say is style according to social calendar style according to your need and also try and preserve those curls so that you're not kind of curling your hair like back to back to back if you curl it on monday you can definitely still wear those curls out for three days i've curled my relaxed hair and it did last for three days it's just a matter of how you sleep with it tie it up so that you're not sleeping on the curls and then in the morning you wake up you revive it with your fingers obviously not with the comb and you are literally good to go so you can find ways to reduce the amount of heat that you apply to your hair the last point is do not skip deep conditioner oh my god guys i don't want to reveal too much because i have like videos that i'll be filming that talk about the importance of this 
but if you have relaxed your hair your hair has been chemically treated the bonds have been broken it's important to restore those bonds with protein treatments and it's also very important to restore those bonds with a moisture treatment so make sure that you have those products in your kit i will have a video where i i think i want to actually start a series where i show you guys the new products i'm testing out in the month if there is no need to try new products and i'm happy with the set then obviously i'll let you guys know but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start purchasing different products and then showing you guys and just gauging from your comments which ones you want me to review on the channel but you'll always know what exactly i'm using on my hair because that is a question that i constantly get so i think it's only fair for me to share the products that i'm using on my journey irrespective of me not having found like my holy grails yet i think it's great to take you on the journey to discovering those holy grails that i use um and that i swear by so just be patient i'm gonna take you on the journey i actually thought that i would have figured it out by now but it's taking me a bit longer and i find myself gravitating more towards my natural hair products which is something that i don't really want to do because i want to learn and explore and find new stuff so if there are any brands who are looking to collaborate I'm open send me your products and i'll try them out and i'll let my community know as well how they test as per usual so yeah guys this video is going to be very short and sweet i just wanted to cover those six things if there are any tips that you have for me as well as for other people watching this video that you have kind of kept from your natural hair journey if you've transitioned let us know in the comment section so we can kind of like co-create and share all of the information but for me right now those are the six most important things that i have continued to do um, that i think have helped me with retaining my length as well as with keeping my hair healthy if you're enjoying this relaxed hair content channel hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so you know every single time i upload new content thank you so much for tuning in and until next time ciao for now